friends. It's Trivia Tuesday. And we're here at Port Orleans Riverside on a Tuesday for some trivia. They do trivia every Tuesday night at 8.30 inside the River Roost where Yeehaw Bob usually plays. Last week we came, we had a bunch of friends with us, we had a great time. And before we got to the trivia, we actually went over to French Quarter and explored a little bit and a couple people commented, what, no love for Riverside? So this week we're gonna explore around Riverside and meet up with some friends. So let's go do this. Always sanitize. Where are you? Thank you. And look at Riverside. Beautiful. And look at Sheikah and Sean, Negro Orlando, and Prince Charming Dev. What's going on, guys? We got the bag and of And of course, wonders. Veronica, the bag of wonders. Yeah. So I think we're gonna look a little bit around Alligator Bayou and then check out Magnolia Bend, which is pretty much my favorite. I love it over there. Right next to the main pool on Riverside, they have Muddy Rivers. One of my favorite bars to hang out at because they have a Jack and Coke and a Rum and Coke frozen machine. Look at that over there. I have never seen a Jack and Coke or a Rum and Coke frozen machine before. But the fishing hole is closed. It's only 7 a.m. to 1.45. Oh, it's $6.39 per half hour. Crossing the bridge, heading over to Alligator Bayou. And I wonder if there are any gators here. Usually when I come to Port Orleans, I never really give Alligator Bayou a lot of attention because I'm overrun with this great feeling of enjoyment whenever I go to Magnolia Bay. Bend, I think it's so much nicer there. Oh, uh oh, coming true. But I know a lot of people do like Alligator Bayou. So let me know in the comments if you are a big fan of Port Orleans, do you prefer Magnolia Bend? or Alligator Bayou. Okay, we didn't all the way get in Alligator Bayou because we needed to backtrack because I totally forgot about the fire that starts in like five minutes and some free marshmallows. And here it is. Campfire on the bayou. Sean, you're too close to the fire. Back up, please. This playground is now occupied by the cool kids. Oh. <laughs> who won? Who won? Uh, I don't know who won at this point. It's a tie. I went. Is it a tin? The noise a tie? it made as soon as you guys started was the best know. thing. That was the best. It's Look at Dev's butt. I know. Oh, <laughs> Alright, which one should I do? This one. I did the high one, so do the I low one. I did the one with the hump. Do the one with the other not hump. Right, <laughs> wait for this my entire life. <laughs> you got this, keep going. You the real trophy boy I got here. The boy. Woo! Trophy boy. Me... What do you do when your marshmallow catches on fire? That's not right. No, you use lots of spit, that way no one else can eat it. Ah! ah! That's my lesson. There you go. Rose said it first. I did. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. that's Yep, no. That's uh, yeah, wow. So, last week, we got a one free s'mores kit, and I think we're going to use it today, huh? What do you think, Sean? I say go ahead s'mores and use kit. it. See, look at that. In order to use a s'mores, you got to know how to... You gotta have the graham cracker and the chocolate. Oh yeah, we only got like only the marshmallows are free. Fun fact: it's the first time I've ever cooked a marshmallow on the open fire. Really? Um, why are you leaving your marshmallow on fire? It sounds like I even know them. <laughs> there it is, Porter Lean S'more Kit. You guys ready? We gotta break this open. Here's a s'more kit too. Yeah, these are five dollars, right? Five dollars for the kit, and you get uh, two packs of three crackers and a uh, chocolate bar. This is behind the scenes of Paging Mr. Morrow. <laughs> and this is how we s'more a marshmallow. 
with Prince Charming Dev and no, paging Mr. Morrow. We already, had, we, already had, we already had a campfire. And well, Negro Lando. Is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And, and since, since there's no place to go, go. Let, let it snow, snow, let it snow, let it snow. Guys, it's, it's like not, 95 it's degrees. It's like 95 degrees. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow is Christmas, Christmas in July. July. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Christmas so, in July. Oh, you didn't know that. <laughs> so, John was the host last week of Trivia. Ah. And he literally just said to Yep, no, don't I'm, shout out the answers. <laughs> this is Sean's first bite of a s'more. All right, I gotta capture this. Like, I've never actually had a s'more like this. It's like... It's gonna go get... black and white soon. Really? Go. Fun fact, they break these sticks up and then use the sticks to actually keep the fire going. Oh no! Oh yes, I love them burnt. Oh wait, John's making a snowman. Hey, if John's making a snowman, what do you ask him? Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, it's about time. We need to get back to the river roost, get a table. Uh, it does fill up quickly, so make sure you're there early to get yourself a good spot, or else you're going to be standing in the lobby playing the game. So, wait a second. Look, we match. Look at this. Veronica's got the shirt. So cute. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't get the memo. I didn't get the memo. Josh. Well, well, what's the link to those Where's shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh. oh my god, it's perfect! perfect. perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and then, so far, this is the group. Chica, Sean, Negrolando, Dev, Prince Charming Dev, Taylor Josh, Walt Disney World Couple, and of course, Paging Mr. Morrow. Oh boy. Well, now that the table's all reserved and put together and the gang's all here, I'm gonna take a quick stroll over to Magnolia Bend because I did talk about it the other day and I asked what people prefer, either Alligator Bayou or Magnolia Bend. So I wanted to show you a little bit of that before trivia actually started. Just over the bridge here. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. This is my favorite side. By far, my favorite side. And if you remember last time we were here, that's the boat we took to get over to the French Quarter. And that's where it's on its way now. It goes here, Riverside, French Quarter, and then over to Disney Springs. Look at her go. Just look at these rooms. Isn't it gorgeous? And look at the little courtyards that they have here. Like this is all different princesses. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Little maze-like thing. Reminds me of the Queen of Hearts. The bell. And that's one of the main buildings there. Look at the fountain. I would love waking up here. And me and Yip have really been talking and we decided that we really want to stay on Disney property, even though we live like two minutes away. It's been a long time for us, but we have to figure out what resort we want to stay at. And I mean, cost actually has a lot to do with it. I mean, if we had any choice, we'd probably take, you know, Contemporary or Grand Florida or anything like that, but I don't think we can afford that. So we're gonna probably decide on maybe Port Orleans or Pop Century or something like that. But we really just want to experience staying on property Again, it's been a couple of years. I think the last time we stayed on property was our honeymoon, actually. I literally feel like when you walk to your room, you're like going into a house or like somewhere in New Orleans, like with these beautiful entryway points and the staircases and everything. I hope tonight we win a horse carriage ride because I think that's one of the prizes actually available for the trivia nights. It'd be so nice to take that around. Now I gotta get back to the group because Veronica's probably like, Nate left me again. I do that a lot to her.
And she always worries where I wave. But I might as well detour through the lobby. Look at this. Beautiful. That's a fancy chair. It ain't Mickey. So Brian and Deb got some food. I have no idea what any of that is. Except for that's a cucumber. But look at this. Deb's got fried pickles. Right. You go hard. We got a pretty full house tonight. Josh? <laughs> Look at this Walt Disney World triplets. <laughs> and look at this, the Walt Disney World couple. <laughs> First round, Disney cats. In the movie, Alice in Wonderland, what is the name of Alice's cat that you see in the beginning of the movie? Question number one. In the animated movie, Alice in Wonderland, so round one is complete. Here is our answers. And our team name is DVC, aka Disney Vloggers Club. <laughs> what? Champion! We lost another round. Taylor's gonna lose it tonight. I am losing. All right, here we go. <laughs> At the ride, the haunted mansion. Oh, Veronica. Kingdom. Veronica, keep How quiet. Many happy haunts are there inside the mansion? Oh, we don't know that we have to be out of the place. Nine hundred and ninety-nine. <laughs> Well, we're not going to bring this up, but I'm sure if you watch any of the other vlogs from tonight, there's probably at least three or four happening right now. You'll know. Veronica shouted out the answer again. 12 or more. 15 or more. 16 or more. Taylor! Taylor! Taylor, you can do it! Yeah, Taylor! Movie from Alice in Wonderland. You can learn a lot of things from the flowers, or especially in the month of land. That's okay, you said May. That's okay. That's okay, Taylor. You said May. That's okay. That's okay, Taylor. You said May. So that was actually a life saver. I know. Alright, here we go. We got one more question. That was actually a life saver. Please. Yes, you were correct. That was June. The final question. If you know that world sung by Ariel, how many things will come? 20! 20! Next time, Veronica should play because she's got words on it. Veronica's trying to dispute. Alright, I think you guys got it. Who had at least 45 or more? Who had 50 or more? Who had 55 or more? 56? 57? Alright. Right. Champions! 60! Oh, is it 60? Alright, 60 out of 60 part. There we go. Give it up to them! Great job, family! It's alright, Taylor! We had fun! But I lost! So we also met some new friends that were sitting right next to us. And the Lost Bros. And the Lost Bros. <laughs> yes, fantastic. What's up? How'd you guys do? Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> we're learning. Today was a learning curve. We're figuring it out. We came late. We went to we went to uh, French Quarter on accident. Oh. And we pulled up. And we're like, "Where's the trivia?" And they're like, "There's a band playing." And we're like, oh, at the Scat Club. And they were like, "Yeah, but they had no." They're like. Oh, 
we don't know what you're doing yeah, here. So no let me idea. Google it and jet it over here. A little frazzled. I get it. It happens. And you said there was no Marvel. So next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Is there, there you go. Marvel next Tuesday? I don't know. You gotta try. You gotta try.